Okay, we're now on page 818, second page of the chapter review. Let's start with number 9 and 10. 9 and 10 say, find the perimeter of each figure. So in order to find the perimeter, we need to add the sides together to get the perimeter. So let's look at this. We've got 3, 6, and 4. Now if I add all of those together, I'll give you a minute. If it was me, I'd add the 6 and the 4 together to get 10, and then the 3 more, 13. Very good. That's the perimeter of this figure. Let's look at this figure. Now, we actually have two options here. We could either add 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, or knowing that each of these are the same, we could multiply 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Either way, it's the same. So take a minute to either add 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, or multiply 4 times 6. Answer, 24. Very good. All right, let's look at 11. Now it says, find the unknown side length for each of the figures. The perimeter of each figure is 30 meters. So we know that this is 10 here. So if this is 10, then this has to be 10 up here too. So, so far we have 10 and 10, that's equal to 20. And now we need to get to 30 using two sides. So what do you think these two sides are? If this is 10 and this is 10, 20, what will get me to 30 here and here? Well, what gets me to 30 from 20 is 10, and if I split that in half, each side is five meters, very good. Now this one's a little bit easier because these are all the same length. So this one is six and six and six. What is this going to be? You're right, six meters. Okay, now let's go on to number 13. It says count the unit squares to find the area and then write a multiplication, multiplication equation. So it looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The area is 10. And if I want to write a multiplication sentence, I can go 1, 2, times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my equation would be 2 times 5 is 10, or 5 times 2 is 10. Either way, it works. Let's look at the next figure. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. My area is 12, and my multiplication sentence would be either the length times the width, 1, 2, 3, times 1, 2, 3, 4, or I could write 4 times 3, and it will give me the same answer as counting, which was 12. Now the last one, uh, 15 and 16, we're supposed to find the area of each rectangle. We know that to find the area, we multiply this number times this number, good the length times the width. So 6 times 4 is equal to, multiply that, hopefully you came up with 24 square inches like I did. And here we go, 9 times 5, give you a minute to figure that one out, 9 times 5, I'm going to multiply those together. And my answer is 45. Okay, I'll be coming on with another video for the next page, which is 819. Talk to you then.